This is Blender. Let's make a donut. I'm going to click General. I don't need this cube, so Object and Delete. I'm going to hide the light and camera for now. Let's go ahead now and do Add Mesh Torus. Now for our torus, we need to change a few things up here. One is fine. This is not. Let's do a 0.55 for the minor radius. And you can see it gives it more of a, well, a donut look. Um, and now for the minor segments, I'm going to crank this up to like 18. It's better for smoothness later on. So that's looking good. Let's go ahead now and apply the texture. This texture is something I created or this uh, material or texture paint is something I created. I'll have it posted in the description. I'm going to click on base color here and then I'm just going to go to image texture open instead of using the image texture it's giving me a bit of trouble you might just want to use the hex color code for a glazed brown i'll put that on the screen now give that a shot and there it is great so now what do we need we need the icing add mesh circle all right and i'm gonna click x here i can't really see where it is so let's pull it up all right so it doesn't really matter but i just put mine at one okay and now i want to see the top of it yeah, we're going to need to increase the size as well. So I'm going to head over here and what I've found to be good, let's try two maybe. Obviously that is too large. Let's do 1.5 and 1.5. That's looking well, perfect. So great. With that all set squared away, let's do edit mode. I'm going to do vertex, new edge from or face from vertices. And there we are. Okay. And we want to cut a hole in the middle. So I'm going to click on Z and then Z again. Now I can see the size of the hole here. Let's do face, inset face. And I'm just going to, oop. And you want it just barely larger, right about there. So for me, my thickness was 0.65. Awesome. All right. Let's take a look at it. Yep, let me go into face select. I'm gonna click on this guy, the center face, and do mesh delete faces. There we are. And then I'm gonna do select all, because what I need now is to divide it up to make the icing look more realistic. So let's do edge subdivide. And depending on how many times you do this, it can slow down your computer. Let's see what four looks like. Four is probably sufficient. I'm gonna go up one more. And again, you can try four if your computer is struggling. There we are. Now let's go into object mode with that. I'll divide it up. Let me go ahead and give this a pinkish color like it would have base color. The hex for the color I like is F0 BBCA. Actually, I wanted a bit more pink. There we are. So I guess that hex is F08 ABA. That's looking good to me. And what we need now is two modifiers on the frosting. So here we are, add a modifier. I need a clothing modifier. I then am going to need a collision modifier. Now for this to work, I'm also going to need a modifier on the donut. So all I need is a collision. I'm going to click on X, zoom out a bit, just so I can see this. And now way down here, I'm going to click play. And if you did it right, your icing should fall. Let me take a look here. Yeah, right at about, we'll say 40 frames. I don't see any major difference. I'm going to add 30 frames, head over to my icing and hit, or my cloth modifier and hit apply. Obviously, we want now to smooth this out. So add a modifier smooth. And I'm going to want this factor up to be one and the repeat until it gets smooth. I'm liking how that's looking. Let's see what another one will do. And you'll notice it shrinks some, but that is fine. Uh, we made the icing this size for a reason. So I am, I'm thinking three looks good. So I'm going to apply. Now we want a solidify modifier just to thicken up how large the icing is. Yeah, I like it right at 0 0.2. And let's apply that. And put off, let's just move this all out. So for our donut here, I'm gonna add a modifier. It's a subdivision surface modifier. Let's crank this up right here at three. It's usually good, yep. And apply that, okay. And then for our icing, I'm gonna go ahead and do object, shade, smooth. And perfect, you have a fancy, beautiful donut, ta-da!